Hi, I didn't really want to do this, but I feel compelled to do this vlog because I'm kind of tired of hearing about to toxic masculinity. Toxic masculinity has shaped the world. Toxic masculinity has given you the security that you have while you're alive today. Toxic masculinity keeps the goblins at bay, as in their enemy over the hill or across the sea or wherever you are. Because you need people, yeah, mainly men, who have those attributes who will fight and will do things necessary to secure or grab your freedom. Yeah. So when you if you're one of these feminists, and I don't necessarily mean women, it could be some men who call them feminists as well, turn around and say, ah, oh, yeah, it's all toxic, you should be nice and you should be this and you should be in touch with your emotions and all of that. No, 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 no. I'm a man and I've been given many emotions. There's certain ones I control, where well, I try to control all my emotions, but there's many that have become an attribute when there's danger. And one of my jobs is as the oldest brother, the oldest sibling, and the man of the house looking after my loved ones is to be able to be aggressive, is to be able to be defensive, and is to be able to make calculated decisions by putting my emotions aside. Now, I've looked up toxic masculinity and everything I've just stated is in that thing saying it's a negative but I don't see it as a negative now if you disagree with me by all means put the comments down below and let me know why we can have a friendly debate and I mean friendly but that's how I see it so far and I'm 46 years old and I've lived this life the way I have lived it for all that time with my toxic masculinity self and I've got I've done quite well for myself if you ask me <laughs> But anyway, put your comments down below and let me know. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and follow.